In this video, I'm going to give you an exercise which you can try if you want to. Remember, the exercises are optional. I wouldn't want you to feel that you've got to do the exercises and if you can't do them for some reason that you've somehow failed. The important thing is only to practice. So if you've got your own way of practicing if, elif, else, or practicing anything else for that matter, that's usually going to be just as good as the exercises that I give you. So I'm going to call this exercise the fridge. Let's put a comment here. The fridge. Now I want to describe the exercise and for that I'm going to need multiple lines. So I could type out multiple hash signs like this and then put text here or wherever as long as it's you know the right side of these hash signs. But it's easier to use a different comment style to write multiple lines of comment. Python doesn't actually have multi-line comments as such, but it does have multi-line strings. Normally we define a string between double quotes. You can actually also use single quotes. It's exactly the same. But let's say double quotes and put some text in there. And of course that's a string. But if you want strings that stretch multiple lines, you can open and close the string with three quotes, like this. Now I can also use this to create multi-line comments because Python's just going to read this and say, okay, it's just a string. It's not even assigned to a variable. I can basically just ignore it. So it will treat it like a comment effectively. So the exercise is this. Get the user to enter a temperature in Celsius. If you're not used to using Celsius, don't worry because that's not going to matter here. Now we're going to pretend that this temperature is the internal temperature of a fridge. So it's been detected by some kind of monitoring apparatus. And then we're going to print different things depending on the temperature. If the temperature is less than zero, print fridge too cold. If the temperature is zero to four degrees Celsius, print fridge okay or something like that. If the temperature is four to six degrees, print fridge too warm. And if the temperature is greater than six degrees, you're going to print fridge broken. Now there is some ambiguity the way I've specified this. For example, the temperature of four degrees, is that in this range or is it in this range? But I'll leave it up to you to decide how that's going to work. The basic thing is just to create a program that basically fulfills these criteria. So you're probably going to want to use a if, elif, else type of statement. And the conditions can be things involving less than or greater than or greater than or equal or less than or equal or whatever. And with exercises generally, I recommend people to approach them by first looking at is there a bit you can actually do and then do that bit. And then the other bits that you can't do, you might figure those out later on as you go along. But try to find some part of this that you can do. Even if you have to simplify it in order to be able to do it, then simplify it and write a simpler version of it. And then you'll get some practice, which is the whole point of this really. And also after that, after you've written a simplified version of this, maybe you can change it and make it a bit more elaborate and make it conform to this specification a bit more accurately. See how you get on, don't stress about it, and we'll take a look at it in the next video. Hello, you've been watching a free sample from my Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners course. I'm uploading enough videos from the start of the course to get you started with Python and Machine Learning. The full course is absolutely massive. If you're interested in it, please click the link in the description. The complete course covers not only basic Python, but also some fairly advanced Python, even some desktop programming stuff, and then goes on to machine learning and artificial intelligence.
Until next time, happy coding.